up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if you guys are new and if you are, definitely hit that subscribe button. Today is a very exciting day because my couch is getting delivered and I'm so, so excited to see it in person. Honestly, it didn't have that many reviews so that's why I wanted to do this video and kind of show you guys what it looks like in person and kind of give you all the details on this couch. So the last couch I had, I loved so much. It was from Wayfair actually. This is not a sponsored ad. I bought both of these couches with my own money but the first couch was like one of my non-negotiables that I needed to buy for my post-grad apartment. I was saving up for a white couch and a smart TV and I landed on this one from Wayfair. We loved that couch so, so much. It was so comfortable. But I just decided to get an upgrade because I wanted to get a new couch sooner or later and was gonna wait till we bought our first home. But honestly, I have no idea when that's gonna happen because we're in this apartment till next November. I didn't really wanna wait much longer, so. I decided to just go for it and get a new couch and I got a new rug. That's gonna be coming in about a week or two weeks and it's definitely going to make the space and transform it. So I'm very excited for that to come in and I'll definitely update you guys on the vlog. I would definitely consider this couch that I'm about to get a cloud couch dupe. But one thing I don't like about the cloud couch is that it kind of deflates and a lot of people say it's a lot of maintenance to like fluff it up every time you are not sitting on it just to make it look like nice and clean and not just like you know again deflated and this couch didn't really look like it would be like that but i'm like hoping and praying that it is what i'm like wanting it to be this couch is definitely wider than the last couch i had which is perfect because we actually painted our walls white and so you could really see that the old couch wasn't as white i guess in our last apartment it pretty much looks like you know off white and i wasn't able to tell really that like big difference but it just like almost looked a little bit out of place here like it wasn't horrible but again i just kind of wanted to upgrade the couch and this one is a little bit bigger so i'm interested to see how it fits with our old couch we had a basket of blankets which i'm not sure will fit but i do want to try to find like a new floor lamp and i also think i can put the blankets in the storage ottoman so that'll be really nice i just got the courtesy call that he's 30 minutes out so i'm just gonna prepare the space by like vacuuming a little bit just cleaning it up moving some stuff around so that he can have a really easy access way to you know unload the couch because i did pay i think it was like 120 more dollars to get it delivered and unboxed in the room that you wanted i will have this couch linked down below as well as a bunch of other options as i said this is an upgrade couch so it's definitely more expensive than my first one and I was able to justify it because this has performance fabric on it so I know it's gonna last me a really long time and I believe that furniture is definitely an investment and the best part about this couch is that it has an ottoman that you can switch to whatever side you want so it's not just left hand facing or right hand facing and it will be able to work in pretty much every space guys we got a couch and it's not assembled yet <laughs> apparently it's really light so we can kind of arrange it together um, because his hands were really dirty and he just didn't want to dirty it up which I appreciate I did feel it and it's really really like soft and like plush which I didn't sit on it yet so I won't make a statement but let's let's put it together This little card was on our couch and it says, 
It has Dura fabric, so it's moisture repellent. It repels water and moisture while letting air flow freely. It's stain resistant, stain technology that goes above and beyond in preventing stains. Barrier protection, woven technology that safeguards your fabrics all the way through, and heavy duty. Durability that assures your fabric looks as appealing as the day you brought it home. I'm hoping so, because now that we sat on it, it is kind of giving me cloud couch vibes, but like, when you get up, it kind of like inflates itself. And I'm not really sure if cloud couches really do that. I'm gonna wait a few days and see what it's like, but I thought it could be fun to do like a water test. Wait, whoa, that was cool. <laughs> update it's been a little over a month since i've had this couch and i've been just loving every second of being home just because of it i just feel like it's so cozy and so deep i can like sink into that corner work on my computer or just watch netflix or watch hulu i just love how deep it is and i actually want to show you guys what it looks like for me to be backed all the way up so i'm 5'3 and if i sit all the way back it's like cut off right at my calves, which is a huge difference from my last couch. I also wanna post the dimensions on the screen. I don't know all of them, but I do know that this way is 134 inches, and the last couch I had, I'm pretty sure was 110. I also wanted to give you guys a quick update on the fabric itself and the stain resistance. So I actually have a Yorkie. She is nine years old, if you guys are new to my channel. Her name's Sophie. And I am just now realizing that her paws are pretty freaking dirty and they will leave like little paw marks especially now it's fall and you know it's raining a little bit more here in Austin and so her paws get a little bit more dirty I've been able to just wipe off like the little paw prints on my couch with some warm water and sometimes I use dish soap I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to but sometimes I do um and I try to demo it for you guys the lighting is like kind of weird today so I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it but on the side of the couch there was a spot from um getting the couch into my apartment that was a little bit dirty so I showed you guys how I just wiped it with like a kitchen towel warm water and some dish soap and it came right off if I don't have company coming over I actually just cover the whole ottoman in one of the blankets that I have and then my corner over here I just cover it because it's like more cozy that way um, and then that way she kind of jumps up onto the ottoman that's where she likes to hang out so I don't have to really clean her paws if there's a blanket over it which you guys might think like okay what's the point of getting a white couch if you know you're just gonna cover it in blankets but I can always remove the blankets and I do clean her paws just not every single time she goes out so I feel like it's just efficient to have the blankets on. For moving purposes and just like getting this whole situation into your house or your apartment there were a couple of clips of the men delivering it and as you saw it came in four boxes I believe so this whole section was one this section was two, three, and then the whole ottoman. And each section wasn't that heavy except for the ottoman. That is definitely the heaviest because it has the storage underneath. So it just has like a lot more moving parts and it can definitely be heavy. And not that I'm going to change where the ottoman is because my door to my balcony is right there, but I love that you can just, you know, switch it over anytime you want because like I said, hopefully in the near future we might buy a house and I didn't want to buy a couch that was only left hand facing or right hand facing um, because my last couch was so I don't know if that would have worked in the next place. So it definitely justifies the investment of purchasing this couch. Another huge selling point for me was that this couch was available to ship within the next two weeks and I feel like that is unheard of for a couch this big, this nice and I'm going to be honest I don't have a lot of patience. I got um a sleeper sofa couch from west elm one year and it took so long they gave me a delivery date and then they kept pushing it back and i was just getting so annoyed because i was having guests come in the weekend that it was getting delivered and we had to buy an air mattress and all that kind of stuff 
and it's just nice that this actually came when it was said it was gonna come. The rug came about a week after and I didn't have any help getting the couch back onto the rug so that was a struggle because Obviously, if it's just like hardwood floor, you can kind of like just slide it around. But especially the ottoman, like I said, it's so heavy. So that was a struggle, but I think it looks so good. It's kind of like this off-white. I'm now noticing there's like a lot of checkers going on, but it's kind of the vibe these days. I got this rug off of Etsy and I can show you guys a close-up of it too. Um, but I think it's stunning. It definitely is an investment piece for sure. But I wanted to get it on Etsy because I saw similar ones on like Urban and like I can't remember where else. Maybe even like Wayfair or Ruggable. But I feel like Etsy's quality is just like a lot better and it just like comes straight from the source. So I decided to get it on there. And then I also added some curtains from Amazon. These are my favorite curtains. I literally went through so many because I have the same curtains in my office. I remember like getting one every single day for like at least a week, trying to see which one is the best. And these are stunning. They're like this white linen material. At first I was purchasing curtains that were, you know, on the cheaper side, but I could definitely tell by the material. And also um, the ones that I got originally had like the grommets and I did not like that. So this one is just linen all the way through and I can link those down below as well. Another thing we added in this living room space are the strip lights behind our couch. It's a thing to put on at night because I don't have a floor lamp and I don't really know if I need one because I got these strip lights and I'm gonna link them down below. You can change the color of the lights through an app on your phone. So it's been really fun to just like play around with it and make it really vibey here at night. <laughs> 